Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again and welcome back to my channel and the official Facebook page of Binibining Pilipinas just uploaded the swimsuit glam shots of the 40 contestants and I have seen all of those photos and then obviously again I have managed to pick out the top 10 favorite shots of mine based on my own favorites and of course based on my own opinion as well again there's no specific ladies that i am rooting for i am selecting based on whom i think did well in these shots and these are my top 10 favorite swimsuit glam shots starting with number 10 Patricia Magtanong. I just loved her body, her pose, her choice of outfit and accessories and style. Everything looked great. But again, the face is beautiful. I just but I want to but I want it to be a little bit stronger. But nevertheless, it's still a great shot. I just need something more on that face. Number nine is Martina Turner Diaz. There's nothing really special with the shot, but what I loved about her in this photo is how she was able to stand out. And that's enough to be considered as one of the best shots this year. Number eight is Joanna Saad. The body and the pose, everything is just on point. This is where the color selection of the outfit is very, very important. And she did chose the right color that is appropriate for her. The face could be fiercer though. And nevertheless, I am still satisfied with this shot. And this is why she is at number eight. Number seven is Jessari Dumaging. I am just in love at how she pops out and stands out in this photo. Great color selection as well because it really complemented her complexion, beautiful face, and everything on these shot just screams queen of the jungle. The only thing I don't like is one is the one-sided sleeve. I don't think it really worked on this shot. Number six is Hannah Arnold. What's amazing is I love how her face delivers that very calm, angelic, and sweet aura, but her body screams sex appeal, and I really, really love that combination. Number five is Sherry Ann Tormez. This girl is just on point all the time when it comes to beauty and styling. She looked like a doll lying in those leaves in a very, very beautiful shot of her. Number four is Maria Andrea Abisamis. And what I noticed about Aya is that most of her fierce poses and faces are just the same over and over again. But I really don't mean that in a negative way because in this shot, it just worked perfectly. I love the face and I love the way she bent her body and showed her amazing curve. And also, it is a very, very good shot of hers as well. My number three is Laren May Bautista, another girl which made me fell in love because of this shot. I just love how it appears as if she is lying in those leaves. And the face is just gorgeous. And I am, I am just simply in love with how her body worked at this shot. And my number two is Samantha Poblete, another photo that wowed me. She is giving me a wild vibe of a tigress, simply because of the color of her outfit. And the way she looked like she is creeping in those leaves are also giving me the ready to attack vibe and power of an anaconda. And actually, I really mean that in a very, very good way because she looks like she is slaying everyone else in this shot loved her face the body and loved her hand gestures as well it really worked perfectly in this photo and obviously based on the photo alone the best photo in this swimsuit glam shot is gazzini ganados after seeing her after seeing all the photos i immediately told myself that this one is undoubtedly the best photo of all. She looked really, really beautiful in this shot, and it screams warrior princess that is ready to slay the competition. Love the effect of her hands touching her hair because it is giving some very, very confident vibe, and I really love that. So that's it. These are my top 10 swimsuit glam shots for Bidibining Pilipinas 2019. So what do you think? 
Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. But for now, thank you very much for spending time with me and have a wonderful day, everyone.